The next way to represent it is called, uh, we call it electron configuration notation, same kind of thing. And, and most of you will prefer this. And the reason you'll prefer this is you'll see in just a second. What we do is instead of writing out all these arrows, which is very te tedious, especially if you're going to do the electron configuration for an element that has, oh, I don't know, 56 electrons, uh, what we do is we write out uh, the energy level, for example, helium's 1, the orbital, and now a superscript for how many electrons there are. There are. So instead of this, we simply write 1s2. Okay. Instead of all this, we write for carbon 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. And again, two electrons in the 1s. There you go right there. Two electrons in the 2s. There you go right there. And two electrons in the 2p. Okay. So uh, we're not going to do all these, but I'd like you to take a second and write out uh, the electron configuration for sulfur. Oops. Uh, now before we do this uh, little exercise right here, I want to show you a way to use your periodic table so you don't have to memorize this because this is really a tedious thing to try and do. You're always going to have your periodic table and I'm going to show you how these, this periodic table and all other periodic tables corresponds to this energy diagram. Right? So the first thing I want to know, I want you to write on your periodic table is the energy levels on the periodic table. In other words, these are known, known as, as the periods. And uh, I can't remember if your periodic table has this, but I want you to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay. And also, because we're going to go read this right to left, I, I want you to also write here, let me erase this. I want you to write uh, 2, 3, 4, Five, six. I want you to write that. Okay. So do that. Okay. Now, from our diagram over here, how many electrons can you put in the first energy level? In energy level one. Okay. The answer is two. Right. Well, let's look at the periodic table. Okay. How many elements are in period two? One and two. Coincidence? Maybe. Let's look at this uh, diagram up here. Let's count all the electrons that you could put in the second energy level. And by second energy level, I'm talking about all the orbitals with a 2 in front of them. Well, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Huh. Let's look at the periodic table. Let's count across in the second energy level. 1, 2, 3. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa! Coincidence? Not really. Okay. Let's look at the third energy level in our diagram. Okay. Three S's. All right. So those are all with a three. One. There's, there's those, those, and these D's over here. Okay. One, two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Whoa, 18. Let's look at the periodic table. Well, look, the third energy level only goes across this way, right? But there's something I want you to also write in your periodic table. I want you to write, just write this down. I'll tell you why in just a second. Three there, four there, five there, and six there. Okay. The reason I'm having you write that is because I want you to notice something on this diagram. Maybe you've already noticed it and you're wondering what's going on. We know that electrons are going to fill up from down here on up, right? Well, after the 3P, and you can't really read that because my arrow's in the way, but after the 3P comes a 4S. What? Okay. Rather than the 3D. Well, it turns out that the 4S has is a little bit lower in energy than the 3D. So the 4S orbital is going to fill up first, and then the 3D orbital is going to fill up, then the 4P. 
Okay. Now I want you to look at this periodic table. This is the way I take care of it. Okay. If you look on the one you have, if, if, if you know, I'm not looking at your periodic table, but it should be the one from the Navy. Right here it says S orbital filling. Right here it says uh, P orbital filling. And right here it says D orbital filling. And then down here in a big bracket, it says F orbital filling. Okay? Well, that stands for the blocks. Okay? So how many electrons can hold can there be in an S orbital? Two. How many columns do we have in this S orbital block? Two. Holy cow. How many electrons can you put in P orbitals? Hopefully you're gonna say two, four, six, right? Look at it, look at how many columns we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's pretend that bracket goes over there like it should. Okay. How many uh, orbitals uh, are there in the D uh, in the D subshell? There's five. How many electrons can we put in there? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Well, let's count columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, the periodic table is broken into these blocks of orbital filling, and it makes it very convenient so that we don't have to memorize this thing. So let me show you a simple trick. We're just going to read our periodic table right from left to do electron configuration. All right, so let me show you, let's see, go back to our example here. And I know I'm going fast. I know this is weird, but you gotta just go through this today, and then I promise you, when we when we start working this in class the next few days, it'll make sense to you. So here's the electron configuration for uh, carbon: 1s2, 2s2, 2b6. How am I gonna use my periodic table to figure that out? Well, look what fills up first: the one. S, and I'm going to read this periodic table like a book from left to right. 1S, and how many call, how many uh, boxes? 1, 2. So I'm going to write 1S, 2. Now, it would be great if helium was sitting over here, but it's not. All right? Now, after the 1S, after I get here to the end of a book, where do I go? I come back to here, right? So now, what's next? 2S, and how many? I'm going to count. 2, right? 2s2. That's where electrons 3 and 4 go. Now I'm going to again read my book. What's next? What's the next energy level? Second energy level. What orbital? P. And how many? 1 and 2. 2p2. Two two. All right. Now you might be going right now, whoa, I like this bubble sheet, right, a lot better. But let me tell you, you don't want to have to try and deal with memorizing which comes first, a 3D or a 4S. Or look at this, a 4F before a 5D and a 6P. Holy cow, what a mess, right? You don't want to have to do that. So you just got to trust me on this. We're going to use our periodic table. We're going to practice this. So let's do a couple. Let's do, as it says right here, let's do electron configuration for sulfur. Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit of erasing here. Okay, so sulfur has how many electrons? 16 electrons, right? So, where the first uh, electrons go? Well, they go in the 1s orbital, the 1s orbital, right? And how many go in the 1s? Two, excellent. Now I come back to here. Where do the next two electrons, electrons 3 and 4? They go in the 2s, right? 2s, oops, 2s, 2, right? Where do electrons 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 go? They go in the 2p, right? 2p, 6. I'm coming back here. I only got, I'm only represented 10 electrons, right? I need to represent 16. Where do the next two electrons go? In the 3s, 3s, I put 2, okay? Where do electrons 13, 14, 15, 16 go? They go in the 3p, and there are four electrons, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So that right there, my friends, is ele the electron configuration for sulfur. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p4. Okay. I know I'm going fast. I know this seems completely chaotic, but we're going to practice it, and I promise you, you're going to get it. All right. But I want to do one more element before I finish here, and I want to do something like iron. Okay, let's do iron. Okay, now iron is in the D block, and again, kind of weird, but look at this. 
it turns out that the 4s, erase this, the 4s comes before the 3d, right? Now, normally you'd have to remember that, but we've got our periodic table. Look at this. If I'm reading from left to right, I'm going 4, and then I'm going 3d, okay? So let's do the electron configuration for iron. Okay. Where do the first two electrons go? Actually, do this. Pause the video. Try it all by yourself. See if you get it. All right. Where do the first two go? They go on the 1s. There's two. Where do the next two go? In the 2s. There's two. Where do the next six electrons go? In the 2p. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2p6. Where do the next two electrons go? Because, again, remember, when we get to the end, we go down here to the next level. 3... S, how many electrons? Two, you say. Good job. Where do electrons 13 through 18 go? In the 3P, 3P6, right? Then we come back here for electrons 19 and 20. Where do they go? In the 4S, right? How many? Two, excellent. And then where do the next electrons go? In the 3, and this is why I had you write a 3 there. In the 3D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3D, 6. All right, how was that? A little crazy, I know. Trust me, this method works very well. I've had many students come back from college and say they've shown this to their uh, college classmates, and they were all amazed at how easy it was. It's much better than using this chart or trying to memorize that chart because you're always going to have your periodic table, and we will practice this in class. So please bring your questions. Don't be shy, and uh, I'll show you uh, how to do this section right down here. Uh, oops. I'll show you how to do the, the, the F block, this section right here uh, in class. Hope this was okay for you.